Our next guest has taken on some memorable roles. Carla Gugino played the mom to two spy kids in the popular action family films. Ben went on to star opposite Ben Stiller in Night at the Museum, most recently sending chills down our spines in the series, oh man, The Fall of the House of Usher. That was a good one. Uh, now Carla is back, and she's back in a new series on Max. It's called Girls on the Bus, following four female journalists on the presidential campaign trail. And of course, there is drama along the way. Take a look. Everything you've been saying all along, you were right. We can't have it all. That's what it is. Hey, listen, listen to me. There is no such thing as work-life balance. It's all an ebb and flow. Some days the work is good and the home life is good. Other days it's the other way around. What's f***ing beautiful is that you have two things you care about that much. You have a husband who loves you and you love him. You two are going to figure this out. We're all just going to figure it out. You know? For me, I know Carla <laughs> is here with us this morning. We were literally just talking with Bonnie yeah. Hammer about I, all of that. It's so funny. I just saw that, and I thought the same thing. I thought it's interesting how uh, energetically that seems to be an important um, thing to talk about. Yes. I, I, I do think that there are a lot of um, myths that are given to mm -hmm. all of us, men, women in particular, these things that you actually just take in as you think are fact, and, yeah. right. and there's a different way to look at it. So, and you're spewing yeah. that advice as the veteran reporter yes. of, of this group as, as Grace. And, you know, the show is... It can be funny also, but it For also sure. tells this this story that I this world I never thought of before. You know, the, yeah. the female reporters following on yeah. the presidential campaign. What drew you to the role? Well, I mean, Amy Chozik, who, you know, it's based on, on a chapter of her book. Uh, she was a New York Times journalist and mm -hmm. was on the trail with Hillary and um, Clinton. And uh, I, I really do. Uh, so therefore, we had something. I was so attracted to the fact that I think with acting, one of my favorite things is getting to know a world that I don't know. Mm. And I didn't know what it was like to be on the campaign trail. I, I've played journalists before and, um, and uh, in fact, in a show, uh, Greg Berlanti show. So it was sort of coming back to, to family, a sort of sister-like character to a character. Um, I had played before um, in Political Animals. Um, and uh, But this woman, Grace, I think what really struck me is that she is extremely knowledgeable. She has lived a life on the trail. She knows how it's done. She's very successful. And she also, you know, she's won a couple of Pulitzers, but her family has suffered for that. Yeah. And she is now in a moment of realization mm. of how do I... Um, what 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 was the cost? Mm, and yeah. um, and she still feels right about her decisions, but mm -hmm. they're questionable. And all of the complexity of that really drew me to it, including the fact that at every moment we could go to Amy and say, "Is this what it was really like?" Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. And that's so helpful as an actor mm -hmm. to get those kind of practicalities, um, because you know God is in the details, and I think that that's mm -hmm. what's fun for me to play and fun to watch. Yeah. You know what's interesting is that you've got the four different women, disparate women, yeah. who may all see things through different eyes and yet kind of come together, which seems to be a theme that actually kind of plays out beyond uh, you know, the confines yeah. of, of this, this, this show. Without question. Uh, one of the things that also struck me is I think in this moment in time, for me, I always want to do something that has something larger to say. Mm -hmm. And this, this really struck me as, you know, these people come from different political backgrounds, different uh, generations, different ideologies. And yet they're thrown together on this bus, having not showered for three days, <laughs> trying to get the story, theoretically competitors, and yet they are ultimately, genuinely advocates for each other. I love that. And, yeah, and I think it's so, the thing that strikes me, and I think it's so important for all of us, is that if somebody believes something different than you, you're not betraying your own beliefs by supporting them. Yeah. They are also mm, adults, and you can actually, as a friend, be I there mean, for them. put that on a billboard. So, uh, let's talk about, before you leave us, let's talk about your performance uh, as Verna in The Fall of the House of Usher. Uh, uh, Craig was just talking about that, uh, you know, before we started this Thank interview. You. How challenging was it to embody that role? Uh, it was an extraordinary challenge. Uh, one of the, the most fun and daunting ones of my career, which has been a very long <laughs> career, uh, uh, hopefully much more ahead. But, um, but to be able to play ultimately seven different versions of... Oh. This this uh, person who's not even actually a person. Right. Uh, there was a you know Verna is very much sort of the hand of fate. Um, she's the executor of karma, but she comes in different forms to different people in order to be received in the way that they can take her in. So I was able to um, you know uh, do a multitude of um, 
characters, and yet they all had to have this golden thread throughout. So it was a, such a unique challenge. Well, you you deserve that yeah. critics, uh, critics' Choice Award. <laughs> oh, for so sure. Thank you so much. Well, well, thanks so much for being here. Thank I could you. just listen to you talk. I know. It's just, <laughs> just like so soothing, and you're just so lovely. So I'll thank always you. Always so much fun to be with you guys. Thank you. You can watch Girls on the Bus on Max. The season finale is out tonight. Nice. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.